back in opinionated facts got the boy soul toast cigar loving mm -hmm. matt knight rider all right now we're going to talk about jj watt so recently the news jj watt is going to the cardinals he's going there on a two-year 31 million dollar deal all right so of all the teams that he could have chose from he chose the cardinals like <clears throat> he'll be paired up with Chandler Jones, but he also makes the second Houston Texan to go there with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. He was traded there, so it wasn't by, by choice, but we got two Houston players over there. All right, so this J.J. Watt deal, going to the Cardinals, was that even a good fit for him? Was it the right move for him? What do y'all think? Uh, Soltos, what you got, bro? It caught me by surprise. I didn't think that the Cardinals was even on the table. I, I thought he might want to play with his brother or go to a serious contender. And I don't think the Cardinals are a serious contender, um, especially now that the Rams got Stafford. Um, but, I mean, it's good money. He'd be next to uh, Jones up there. Uh, I think they're like one and two for the most sacks over the last, since like 2012 or something like that, even with all the games uh, Watt has missed. Uh, I still think he has a, a lot left in him. Even if he plays six or seven games, it'll be nice to see. But I don't I don't think it's going to – I just don't think the Cardinals are going to go anywhere. I, I was just shocked that he went there. I mean, if he wanted to go play with another person who gets a lot of sacks, could have went to Denver. You know, <laughs> play with Von Miller. <laughs> go for the Y'all already got one overpaid <laughs> pass rusher. I mean, when he played, <laughs> he Von Miller played a beast. right. And that would have been great, but he went to the Cardinals. John uh, Hopkins is over there, probably <laughs> coursed him over, whatever. So I was just surprised by it all. As long as he's happy getting paid, it's whatever. But I'm not really worried about the Cardinals, uh, especially when you got a four foot two quarterback you know, <laughs> tucking it down the field. I just don't see that working. All it all it takes is one good hit. And he's gonna lose two inches from his height. He's gonna be three foot something, and it's gonna be over. Happy <laughs> <laughs> with JJ Watt. I hope it works out for him. He didn't go to the Broncos, so whatever. So you pretty, you pretty much saw this like a, a money move for him. I mean, two years. Yeah, I, I seriously thought he could have played with family. He could have played with a contender. Yeah. Maybe Hopkins was like, man, this is a good culture. It's a great area, or whatever. Maybe likes dry heat. I don't know. The, the field, we can pull it in and out. It's real grand door. So I don't know what all goes into how they make the decision. I, it just took me for a loop. I thought he would want to go to a contender or play with family or something. But maybe he feels like he can keep going after the two-year contract. So I don't know. Maybe, possibly. Knight Ryder, what you say, bro? Oh, I think he just did it for money because I still don't believe in Cliff Cleansbury as a coach. And... I think he just did it for the money for the most part. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there was a, probably other open organizations yeah, offering him about that same amount of money. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe not Pittsburgh. We, we, hey, we sure about that? It would damn sure went Pittsburgh. Yeah, honestly, not not in there. Maybe not Pittsburgh. Yeah. He ain't got bread like that for that. He probably like, you know, Calum Murray and Bill Rothbard. Hey, for $31 million, it's a perfect fit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yes. So, so what you say, Mr. Cigar Loving Matt? He said perfect, perfect fit. Thirty-one million dollars. Perfect, perfect. No, but schematically, <laughs> I mean, uh, they are a young team. They're a young team. They got talent, man. They got young talent. I, I'm with Knight Rider. I don't believe in Cliff Kingsbury. I don't think that four foot two quarterbacks a problem. <laughs> they got a bad coaching situation there, man. Cliff Kingsbury uh, is just not a very good head coach, and I think that's ultimately going to be their downfall. But you get to go play with the old teammate, DeAndre Hopkins. You get to go play with a good quarterback, Kyler Murray. Uh, you get to go and, and join in with uh, Chandler Jones and uh, some more of those guys, man. I, I think it'd be fine. Ain't no Super Bowl move, but $31 million, and you get to go play for a pretty good organization. I think it's I think it's straight. I, it, it, you know, it, you could do worse. Yeah, you could be worse. <laughs> You're right about that. Could be worse, but uh, <clears throat> hold up, man, shit. All right, we good. Hey, we could be could be worse. Like I, I don't believe in Cliff Kingsbury anyway. Uh, when college coaches come to the NFL, you gotta see if their game can translate or their coaching style can translate to the NFL coaching style. He he has a good idea of what he wants to do. He's back. Welcome back, bro. 
he has, I don't know what happens. <laughs> hey, he has I'm a good bad. idea. He has a good idea what he wants to do, uh, the coach he wants to instill, but I think he's still in that college mindset. So that's already a bad fit. Uh, as far as J.J. Watt goes, if it was a money move for him, good deal, good deal. But if he wanted to win, that was a bad move. Like he could have he could have went and played with Pittsburgh with his brother. Both of those guys at the edge. That'd be I mean, it'd be a game changer. Yeah, he would pair with Chandler Jones, but you gotta look at the rest of the defense too. Patrick Peterson was at the, I think he's at the end of his career or whatever. But he'll he'll be gone. Uh you got Buddha Baker, I think, is on that team. He's like what, five nine, five ten, something like that. Small too. He, he, he remind, small players. Yeah, yeah. He, remind, he remind me of uh, Bob Sanders a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, he, he was one that got hot down by DK Metcalf too. So yeah, yeah. Uh, let's not forget that. <laughs> but uh, I don't. If it was a money move, it's a good move for him. As far as winning, going to be with a contender, that wasn't a good move. I, I, that I mean, man, that uh, man said, "I've been losing this long, goddamn it! I can lose some more for thirty-one million dollars." <laughs> Look, as Larry Fitzgerald can lose his entire career, except for that one year, they yeah. made. It the Super Bowl. I yeah. can put up with two years. Seems like a cool place to be. <laughs> like a cool place to be. It's hot. Warm weather. Warm weather. Thirty-one million dollars. <laughs> you know, dry. Whatever. Yeah. I don't know. I think. I think. I for one think he should have chose the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think that would have been good fit for him for a championship. I don't trust Ben Roethlisberger, but that defense would have been so good. Right. The offense wouldn't have to do much. I think they would have had to. Fucking cut Ben Washburn to afford to pay him. Well, they already uh, changed Pittsburgh. Ben, Pittsburgh has some cap issues too. Like, then Ben Roberts just signed another contract, didn't he? Not. Yeah, he took yeah. a pay cut. Yeah. Did he? Okay. They they weren't going to keep him with if he wasn't going to take a pay cut. Yeah. Like, let's hit. I would have got rid of him. Look, I already want. I already want Matt gone. You know that's hey, how I hey, use it. He said. He said. Hey. He said. Hey, bitch. You shaped like a vending machine. You can't move. You cost me forty one million now. Get, get the <laughs> fuck out of here. Refrigerator Ben. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Look at my like Uncle Ben and shit. <laughs> hey. Big Ben to Uncle Ben. <laughs> <laughs> somebody said, somebody on Twitter said when Big Ben scrambled in the <laughs> Push the refrigerator down the steps. <laughs> you got that slow roll. <laughs> that shit looks so painful. He should retire. He retire. should retire. He should retire. Absolutely fucking retire, bro. Like, uh, he's coming. Ben's coming back. Like, what's hey, for forty one million dollars, bitch, you got to fire me, bitch. I'm not quitting. <laughs> Better find me on my day off. Like, look here. You're gonna have to <laughs> for that kind of money, bro. <laughs> exactly. Speaking of money for quarterbacks, go right into the next. My man yeah, learn how to do segways on the this motherfucker. Did y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> you know how to do these segways, bro. You gotta keep it, you gotta keep segways. it moving. Look here. <laughs> let's, let's get him a job at ESPN, baby. <laughs> I'm ready. Stephen A, holler at me, bro. All right, look here. <laughs> hey, but look, that Prescott is being reported that he wants Patrick Mahomes type money to come back to the Cowboys. I mean, we were already having contract issues with that before, how he wanted X amount of dollars and the Cowboys weren't trying to give him that much. But now he's wanting, you know, Patrick Mahomes type money. I mean, I think the ball's in his court, given that the Cowboys really suck when he left. I mean, but what do y'all think? Is he worth that kind of contract? Night Rider, what you say? Hell no. Why he easy? Y'all ass. He, <laughs> hey, he be beating y'all ass. <laughs> I mean, he be beating our ass, but I don't want him to get all that money and start paying like trash like Carson Wentz did. Because some quarterbacks, they get money, they get work. Carson Wentz is a different story. <laughs> That's a different story. It's a different quarterback. It's a different player, different situation. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but I don't know. He, he don't, he don't turn like 44, but he's good. We're good at 35. We're good at 35. Good. 44, hell no. I mean, I yeah, look, 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 look at what the Cowboys went through, though. Look what they had. They had Andy Dalton. They had some other dude. I don't forgot his name. <laughs> but either way, oh, they yeah. performed way below what they wanted to do. I mean, Ezekiel Elliott looked like a shell of himself, in my, in my opinion. So, I don't know. The ball's in Dak's court. 
hey, but Soltos, what do you say? Is it worth mm-hmm. that money? I think I think it was it with any uh anything in life. You're worth whatever someone's willing to pay you. Uh so if someone wants to pay him 44 million a year, then he's worth 44 million a year. Um as a a fan of a team with a bad quarterback, I'd be happy to have Dak Prescott. I think it'd be a great upgrade, even if with he has one leg compared dollars. to who we have. Yeah. Uh, I think Dak is a is um I think he's a top ten quarterback. Um, I think he's really good. He's just been on when he got good and settled in. The offensive line started getting bad, right. and then the defense completely went away. Because at one point, the uh, Cowboys had a decent defense and a great offensive line. But then the offense wasn't great. It just hasn't lined up for them. Um, if they tag him, I I don't know what Jerry's doing. That's a lot of money in the last two years to tag a dude. Uh, yeah. I think he I think he deserved you know a solid size um, contract. But I, I keep hearing that his problem is the amount of years um, that Jerry wants to sign more like five or six years, and Dax only want like three or four. I, I guess he wants another big contract down the road or he just doesn't want to get stuck there. But out of all the quarterbacks that's on the market, um, I think he's he's right. He's not like Deshaun Watson, even though he's not technically yeah. on the market or Russell Westbrook, who doesn't want to be traded. But if I Russell do, Wilson. I'd like to go Russell, here. Russell, 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 Russell Wilson. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Russell, Russell W. One of them. Um, Sierra's uh, husband, um, <laughs> and, but after them two, I think it's Dak. Um, so Cowboys just need to, I don't know, either franchise him and then trade or something, but I think he's gonna get paid big because I think he's that good of a quarterback. Um, I agree with you there. You know, he he has shown that he was one of the better quarterbacks that Dallas has had. Not, I mean, you know, who I'm not talking about, I'm not saying Troy Aiken better. Right, you know I mean, but but still, over the past few years, you know, he was that better quarterback. And as far as for the market's concerned, he's probably the bigger best option. Like, I mean, what are they gonna do? Try to draft like Mac Jones or something like that, and hope he could come in right away and play. Now we had Dak Prescott. It's a whole different story. Hey, no, guard loving Mac. What you got, bro? Uh, I think he is absolutely worth it. Uh, I think you saw what the Cowboys really are when he got hurt. They are Tridash. Uh, Car- the Carson Wentz, the Carson Wentz comparison is not right. It's not good because Carson Wentz has been on a steady decline, while Dak Prescott has been on the ascent. Right, like exactly. it, you know, when he got good, the offense line all of a sudden decided to be old at the same time. Like, damn, dog, we all old all of a sudden. Uh, you know, they went and got him some receivers, and he put up numbers in that way. Was as a as a fan of a team with a good quarterback and receivers. Let me tell you what, buddy. <laughs> that don't <laughs> fucking far. Look here, buddy. <laughs> the game ain't won with just quarterbacks and receivers. This ain't seven on fucking seven. Exactly. The, suck. the offensive line all of a sudden suck. They got one good linebacker. <laughs> hey, Jalen Smith, right? Hey, you either pay that press guy or you risk going into irrelevance again. Well, they'll never be irrelevant because they're the fucking Cowboys. Right. You risk being the fucking Chan Gailey Cowboys with Drew Bledsoe for all them years, right? For like two or three years, right? You don't, And you don't want to do that when you got a player in hand already. I think it's time to move on from Zeke after this. First of all, can you move on? I forgot they gave him an extension, but they didn't have to. Right. So I, I don't know. You got to reshape that roster, man. You got your receivers. Uh, you got to rebuild that offensive line. You got to get some help on the defensive line. But I think he is worth that money, man. I think he's a top 10 quarterback, bro. I think that pretty good. I think that pretty good, man. It's just they stopped winning games. They were winning games when his stats were pedestrian because they ran the ball a lot. Right. And his stats, his stats improved because of receiving, but the rest of the team got worse around it. So that is what it is. But yeah, I think you paid Dak that money, man. I really do. Because you know, without him, I mean. And I think you're right. I mean, you got to look at what the Cowboys has as options. What you're going to do, like, you're not going to pay that. What you're going to bring Cam Newton for like a one year deal. You know, we saw he performed with Bill Belichick. You know, I mean, your your options are kind of limited. You're not going to get Deshaun Watson. You're not going to get any other top tier quarterback unless you try to draft somebody and throw them right to the mix. 
Now, as we've seen with Andy Dalton, who was a proven quarterback in the league, he couldn't even perform with the Cowboys. I mean, you gotta look at that. So you can't just bring somebody in. Dak knows how to work and, you know, move in that offense. Zeke knows how to play well with him. I mean, I think if that doesn't come back, Zeke's gonna be gone anyway. So you gotta look at that too. I mean, they got CB Lamb in the receiver position. Uh, the tight ends, I don't know why they brought that Jason Witt. That was stupid. <laughs> that was so stupid. Hey, I'm, real talk. Uh, they could have paid me to go out there and do it. <laughs> Wouldn't play I, for, uh, bitch, I, I can give you a five yard button hook right now. Written yeah. played for the Raiders last season. Yeah, he played for the Raiders last season, but they brought him back and look at what they had last year. behind him. Last year. With, uh, last was year. it Dalton Schultz? Was that him? Yeah. Yeah. Who is that? Who's I don't know. It's sad. It's they, sad. They, don't, they don't make any sense, man. So it was like Cowboys, they beat they beat the Falcons over a dumbass play. I'm not gonna uh Hey, we not what we're not gonna do is turn this fucking shit into a fucking let's go down memory lane with the fucking fucking Falcon, right. man. We, we good. That. We good. We, we here. I'm here. I'm, I'm here. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm good. With it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm. I agree with you. If you have that, that wants to come back, you need to pay that that money. That'll be your franchise quarterback. Leave it at that. Yeah. And that's it. Because you don't have any other options, you need to be. You need to use your draft picks for other crucial parts in your team. Jerry Jones been gambling for two years now. He had been losing for two years. Now it's time to pay the man because the price just going up. Like, right? Are you gambled and lost? Like that bet, that bet on himself and it paid out for him. It's time to pay that man his money. Exactly. Yes. Well, Jerry, Jerry already got problems. Y'all know what he did at Mannequin Channel. He was over there shaking. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, then he got the shakes and everything. Like, Jerry needs to <laughs> hey, Motherfucker, you got the shakes. <laughs> Jimmy got the shakes, boss. Look. Call him Jimmy, Jimmy Shakes. <laughs> I still don't understand why they chose Mike McCarthy out of everybody's big coach. I mean, out of everybody. Look, Mike McCarthy had Aaron Rodgers. That, that that plays a lot into. <laughs> hey, he chose he chose Mike McCarthy because Mike McCarthy did what we should all do: take a lesson, kids. Lie in the interview. Right? Yeah. <laughs> change man. <laughs> I'm a change man. All right. <laughs> yes, I, this. I spent all year watching Jet Show film, and I had all these nerves living with me, man. And we put all these spins on some shits. Let me tell you what: most of the time, you should go for it on third and inches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you just, hey, <laughs> he talked a good game, and, and look, and then they doubled down and talked and and signed and 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 hired another legendary lie in the interviewer, aka Dan Quinn. They hired Dan Quinn as a defensive coordinator. I laughed so hard when I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> How did they bitch? No, hey, Dan, I need to talk to Dan Quinn and figure out, listen, man, I got a job in mind that I really want, and I'm not qualified for it at all. I need you to help me get this <laughs> fucking job. <laughs> hey, between Dan Quinn and Arthur and, and Mike McCarthy, it shows you that Jerry Jones is easily impressed. If you can talk, if you can use some buzzwords and talk the game and be enthusiastic about that shit, you got a shot, bro. He gonna he gonna give you a chance at that shit. Yeah, explain how y'all defense. I don't know. It's what good. we not gonna do. Hey, 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 what, what, what we not gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dan Quinn. Hey, I said this a long time ago to my to my brother in law. Dan Quinn might be the worst head coach I think I ever seen. Like, no, nah, Mike Smith. No, nah, Mike Smith. No, nah, Mike Smith. Man. Mike Smith. Hey, first of all, we not what we not gonna do. <laughs> Look, Dan, it, it fell off. It fell off at the end with Mike Smith, but Mike Smith was a damn good head coach for about five fucking years, right? Like Mike Smith did a real good job of managing situations and being keen on details. Dan Quinn, Dan Quinn had me watching the Falcons sometimes, and I would ask myself, "Had we fucking practiced?" Like I'll be thinking to, I'll be, I'll be asking, like, "Damn dog, did we practice this week? Why do we look so bad?" Like, like week one, like week one of, I think it was this year, bro. Week one against Minnesota, it looked like we hadn't practiced. Like it looked right. like we spent all offseason fucking, I don't know. <laughs> a little, a little, 
It looked like we screaming. Looked like we screaming as a high school team. You're ready for week one. That's what it looked like. It looked. It looked bad. And Mike, Smith, we never looked like that under Mike Smith. Like, don't get me wrong. It kind of fell off towards the end with him, and we shit started to kind of get crazy on him. But for the most part, it always looked like a, a football team that was at least prepared. They just wasn't good good enough. The Falcons dish under Dan Quinn looked like a team that hadn't practiced key situations with the fucking the fucking onside kick. They look like they like we played Minnesota. We played the same offense as them. We play, we run the same offense, stretch zone outside. We run the same offense as them, but yet when we go out there on defense, we look like we've never seen it. <laughs> tell you what though, Mike Smith was also the head coach that was coaching when we got all but two points against the Giants. I'm not gonna forget that either. That was Mike Smith. That was Mike Smith. <laughs> Yeah, but that that was that was talent though. They the Giants were better than us in every way. Ain't no way we should have number two points. I don't but, know. But he kept going. But he kept going for it on third. He kept going for it on fourth down, to, taking field goals. You know what? Post, we we post got beat. Uh, what was the final score? Twenty two to two. We know. post got beat. <laughs> so we had two field goals. Well, we I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, y'all, I like these stories. Y'all keep this going. <laughs> hey, hey, we're, we're going to end it right here, fellas. All right, so we went over J.J. Watt. You know, he'll be a card and we'll see how he performs this year. And that, pay that man. Pay him. Pay that man. Pay that man. Hey, we out like this, so. That's it, boys. We out.